Hello dear viewers, my name is Rakesh and I am your host here with the video. Topic is Euro USD and GBP USD technical analysis today. Uh, today is 4th of uh, November 2021. I am a Dukas Copy community member. Please do not confuse me with the employee of Dukas Copy Bank because I am not. So all the views or trading ideas that we are going to discuss in this video will be of my own. As the name of the topic suggests, we will be carrying out the technical analysis of Euro and Pound against the dollar and if the time permit, we will also carry out the technical analysis of other major pairs. We will also be looking at the Brent oil, the gold, silver and the Bitcoin. In this session, we will be strictly talking about the technical aspects of trading. Uh, we will try to ignore the fundamentals and as a technical analyst, I already know that every piece of information, whether it is political or fundamental, is already priced into the chart. So we will try to follow the charts only for our analysis and in this video we will only be using the candlestick charts we will ignore other chart types like bar chart uh, line chart and area chart and we will try to find out the key support and resistance levels and how we can use them in our trading if you are new to the technical analysis i would request you to go to our channel's home page and then select the playlist and in those playlists search for the two playlists that is uh, profitable candlestick patterns and the profitable chart patterns playlist if you go through them, it will help you in understanding what we talk about in this uh, program. Uh, last but not least, everything that I say in this video is only to enhance your information and uh, to enhance your knowledge. So you do your own research before you are you, are, uh, you put your money in on the line. Uh, with the standard introduction, let me go uh, take you through the risk disclaimer, which is associated with the trading on foreign exchange. Trading foreign exchange or margin carries a high level of risk and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. I request you to pause this video here and go through this entire risk disclaimer and understand it properly. So now that you have been through the risk disclaimer, let's go to the charts today. First chart that you're going to see on your screen right now is the daily chart of the dollar index. Now dollar index till the yesterday was trying to uh, try to test the 94.13 resistance and today it has successfully overcome that resistance and is now trading at 94.29 has made an intraday high of uh, 94.42 and intraday low was uh, 93.77 and after that low there was no lower risk that means uh, the price has only seen buyers here today and now the next resistance for dollar is at 94.50 and i'm expecting actually this area 94.13 to act as a good support if the price comes back to this area and so now the resistance for the price is uh, 94.50 and the support is 94.13 for the dollar index. If the price breaches 94.50 on the higher side, we can uh, test 94.78 in this market. On the contrary, if for some reason price starts going down from here and closes the day below 94.13, then 93.47 will be exposed in this market. While the way down, this uh, dynamic uh, support of this uh, rising channel support line will be there, which can help the price go up again. Talking about the euro US dollar, uh, actually, we are looking at our move towards 1.1495 here because there has been multiple times when the price has uh, breached this 1.1584 level. Yesterday, I had said that this level is actually a resistance, and now the price is coming back below this resistance, and now 1.1495 is looking as a good support for the price if it starts coming down. and see how this three days price action has been uh, uh, has been engulfed by today's uh, candle and now there may be fresh sellers may emerge in this market to push the price back to 1.1495 but because of some reason if the price starts going up then 1.1584 is still resistance in this market GBPUSD a lot of decline today actually this is a bearish engulfing candle a long bearish engulfing candle if there is any pullback then 1.3570 now will be acting as a resistance and 1.3609 will also be acting as a resistance almost 200 points uh, the price has moved more than 200 points and now 1.3433 looks like a next level of support where the price can stop so 1.3570 is resistance 1.3433 is the support and if 1.3433 is broken, I have not even marked my lower levels. Uh, let us see uh, if it is able to break this one, then we will be marking our lower levels. In fact, this level is now at here. 1.3415 is the level. On the high side, we have 1.3570 as the resistance. Talking about the Australian dollar, Australian dollar is also very weak. Uh, uh, two days back, uh, the, uh, the Australian, Australian government has decided to keep the range uh, unchanged and there was a 
hype in the market that the rates will be changed this time but it did not happen so the market sentiment broke and the price is uh, going lower now what to what extent it can go down i have a support level at 0.7315 in my charts and i don't think that it will stop anywhere uh, before that now this low here the small low here on the way up this was the level uh, 0.7378 was the support for the price here which was the resistance here for the two days may may offer some support to the price but i think 0.7315 and 0.7289 is the level that we should be looking for in this market right now the resistance for the market is 0.7426 and the support is 0.7378 in the australian dollar in the new zealand on the similar lines it we are actually seeing a bearish engulfing candle if it closes below this low of yesterday's candle which was at 0.7101 then any close below 0.7101 will give us a bearish engulfing candle today at the resistance and it will uh, it will actually send us to 0.7075 and if any closes any any candle closes below 0.7075 we can also see 0.6979 but this falling uh, falling uh, actually this was a symmetrical triangles line if this line is a dynamic line which may offer some support to the price if the price meets this line on the way down to 0.6979 on the high side we have resistance now at 0.7150 and the support at 0.7075 in this market talking about the usd chf i am still bearish in this uh, um in this market but uh, we have met a strong support of this rising channel now and now it is uh, offering support to the price but the resistance is lying at 0.9149 the price is trading between these two levels if we see a close below 0.9099 we can uh, actually not now 0.9099 now we should move this low to this low here 0.9085 any close below 0.9085 should open the way to 0.9018 and any close higher than 0.9149 is not 0.9149 it was 0.9506 any close higher than 0.9506 will open the way to 0.9 200 actually yeah yeah all right so these are the supports and the resistance levels in the usd chf after some consolidation i'm still expecting the price to move down to 0.9018 levels but for that we need a closing below 0.9085 in this market <coughs> sorry talking about the usd jpy usd jpy is consolidating big time actually because it moved a lot it moved a lot in the recent days and now yeah something of the similar sort is happening on the four hour it will be much much visible actually on the four hour you see the price is moving in a channel and yeah we need to break this channel actually uh, if this channel is broken 114.54 will be exposed and uh, any close not 114.54 now actually i want to mark the high of this candle so this is 104.70 is the resistance now if we see any close above 114.70 then 115.50 will be exposed in this market on the contrary if we see the price uh, going down then 102.18 region may offer a good support for the price and if we see any close below that then this up move will be negated and we can see 111.63 and 110.53 also but looking at the bigger picture it seems like the, the price is consolidating here and we can see 104.70 soon and after close above we can also witness 105.50 in this market talking about the us dollar against the canadian dollar yes the price is rising US dollar is rising against canadian this is because the brent oil is decreasing in value i will discuss brent oil after this but right now if you look at this price action here 1.2421 was the good resistance for here you can see one two and three days now if we see a closing above 1.2421 today then we can expect this level to hold as a fresh support and uh, that can help the price to be pushed back to 1.2493 which is the next level of resistance on the contrary if we see a fall in the price because of any reason from here and we see a closing below 1.2421 then the price can be pushed back to 1.2299 region again so to make sure that it doesn't happen we can draw a channel we can draw a channel uh, joining these lows these recent lows and this this high here and you can see the price is moving in a beautiful channel one can be looking for a selling opportunity here 1.2493 but selling opportunity means that you should see a bearish engulfing or bearish pin bar like this at the resistance and which is here so yes this is the area you should be looking at uh, for selling opportunity and if we switch to if we switch to usd care daily chart we will see that 
after the this was broken the price tested this level again and pushed the prices here and now here it seems like a double bottom breakout to the upside so we need uh, more, uh, many sellers to emerge at 1.2493 to push the price back because otherwise the price may close higher than this and take the price back to 1.2586 uh, and that uh, depends mostly not on the us dollars only but the canadian dollars uh, uh, sentiments also and which are, are in line with the brent oil so let us look at the brent oil and you will see that the brent oil is actually facing resistance at 83.44 after giving a close below that level yesterday and now if the price continues to 79.87 then you see that the the brent oil is depreciating that means canadian dollar is depreciating and if the us dollar is appreciating across the board then usd cad will definitely appreciate uh, I'm sorry for the noises in the background because today is Diwali in my place and Diwali is celebrated uh, with the fireworks. So there is, there are fireworks going on in the background. If I miss something, I will repeat that line. So I was saying that because yesterday we saw a close below 83.44. So 83.44 is now acting as a resistance because it was a good support in the past. And now we are looking for 79.87 to be tested again in this market. Because of any reason, if the price starts going up and 83.44 is broken to the high side, that means appreciating uh, uh, Canadian economy and of course appreciating Canadian dollar. So the USD CAD will start coming down. Okay. But now here, uh, because the price of uh, Brent is going down, so expect USD care to appreciate and USD CAD may be seen as a long opportunity for the long time. So right now 83.44 is the resistance and 879.87 is the support for the Brent oil. Talking about Euro GBP, Euro is appreciating in front of GBP because the pound has been pounded like 200 pips today and 0.8476 acted as a good support for the price today and now 0.8558 which we were expecting to act as resistance has already given a strong resistance and the price is coming back to 0.8550 let us see what is happening on the four hour and you will be able to appreciate it further because uh, in four hour you can see a lot better price action you see the price was coming down this level of 8476 acted as a good support and pushed the prices high and but 0.8558 acted as a good resistance and pushed the prices back although the intraday high today was 0.8565 so this is a zone of resistance okay this is never a point so you always consider the line as a zone not as a point but still now you can expect 0.8532 to act as a support for the price to push it a further higher okay uh, on the higher side if you see by closing above 0.8558 you remember yesterday we talked about how 0.8558 is the confluence of resistance if this was confluence of resistance here it is also confluence of resistance here also so expect the uh, sellers to emerge and push the price back to 0.8532 to here but because of some reason if we see uh, more bullish closing here and a close above uh, 0.8558 today then 0.8603 may also be possible in this market and after that this falling uh, trend line will be broken and the price may even extend 2.8670 in this market gbp jpy is coming down i think this is the time where you should be looking for a buying opportunity 153.44 has already been tested and if we see a close higher than this today that means the buyers are ready to push the prices higher but i am saying that rather than buying right now uh, rather than catching a falling knife now you should wait for the price to give a green close like today or tomorrow not today but today it's not possible because it is almost 250 pips already dead into uh, into the seller's hand now expect the price to hold support at 152.66 which can be a very good idea to open a long position with a small stop loss below this level now tomorrow i think we will be reviewing this gbp jpy and i must keep a price alert near this level because i want to open a risky trade here okay so at these levels so let us see uh, right now the support for the price is 153.44 the resistance is at 156.08 my friends talking about chf jpy chf jpy is still holding its value uh, above 124.36 uh, which is support now resistance is 105.88 125.88 uh, may be seen if we see a closing above this uh, okay I must show you on the four hour there is a falling trend line forming here there is a fall, falling trend line forming here like this 
I think this is uh, when we see a close above this channel, we can see 125.88 in this market. And now this is this trajectory has not been success, so we'll just remove them to clear the clutter from the chart. So right now the support is 124.36. The resistance is at 125.88 in this market. Talking about the euro or Australian dollar, euro has been very good as per Australian dollar is concerned. Because you see, uh, I just told you about the Australian dollar, why it is declining and the support is much lower 0.7315 region. So expect this this uh, this pair to continue rising to 1.5675 first and maybe even after that 1.5899. This area although can be seen as a selling opportunity. One is because those sellers who could not sell their positions here will be looking to open the fresh sell positions. So they will be fresh sellers. And secondly, those who have opened their long positions here, they will be looking to book profits here. So there will be a lot of sellers sitting at around 115902 to 115.975 region. So these two areas, this this congestion, this area of congestion may be this area of confluence may be seen as a fresh opportunity to go short in this pair for a long term. Talking about the Euro New Zealand, Euro New Zealand is actually trading between nowhere. The resistance is at 1.6305, the support is at 1.6141. So if the price is between uh, supports and resistance levels, just stay away from this market because we want to trade only near closing or near the close uh, levels, uh, close, very close to our levels. And uh, it seems like that uh, now the price is trying to go up. Euro is trying to improve against New Zealand dollar, but we need to see a closing higher than 1.6321 for to be sure that the price is going back to 1.6487. Till the time the price does not close higher than 1.6321, we cannot be bullish in this market. On the contrary, if the price starts going down and closes the day, not now, this is not the support. Closing the day below 1.6080, then 1.5995 and 1.5879 will be exposed in this market. Talking about the gold, gold yesterday uh, went below 1780 level and we were expecting the price to go back to 1753. But today, see the price has not been able to go any lower and has in fact started rising. 1795 was the resistance, a uh, second resistance. In fact, uh, we were expecting 1780 to act as a resistance and it did not. But 1795 is acting as a resistance. If we see any close above 1795, it will expose 1810 in this market. And we are actually expecting this rising trend line here to act as a good resistance. In fact, at 1831, if the price goes today or tomorrow or maybe day after, then this area should be seen as a good opportunity to go short in this market. Okay? Because the price is moving in this triangle, this is a long term triangle. And after testing this support here on 8th of August, the price has not tested this falling trend line again. And now this may be an area of importance. If the price goes here, then you can expect selling sellers to emerge like this. Okay. So yeah, keep an eye on this level. That's why I have marked this uh, price alert close to this level of 1831 because this is a very good area of opportunity to go short this market. Talking about the silver, I am very bullish on the silver right now uh, because uh, yesterday I was expecting, uh, I was thinking, uh, I am not expecting, I was thinking that there may be a close below 23.12. If that would have been a close below 23.12, that could have exposed 22.77, which is not a good idea because we are expecting the price to rise now. And yesterday we gave almost a bullish pin bar and now the price is trading above the resistance 23.73 and it is going good. If we see a close above 23.73, that will expose or that will open the way to 24.81. Also, you see on the 4 hour, actually we have to increase this channel's width, which we had marked because the range of the channel has increased. So, yeah, the range of, uh, sorry, the range of the channel has increased to this one, to this one. So, we will mark our channel like this now we have already seen a close above uh, on this four hour channel we are uh, we have already given a close higher so now expect this 23.73 and this falling channels resistance line to act as a good support and if it does then anything uh any closing about 23.73 today will expose 24.81 in this market which is the next level of resistance talking about the swiss franc uh we were expecting 12,572 to be achieved but uh because the market opened higher today, so it is. Uh, I think it is trying to fill the gap here. So there is a lot of selling. 
but I don't expect the selling to continue because uh, after filling this gap, the buyers will come again and push the price back to 12,572. This is the level that they want to test again. And there is a possibility that the price can go even higher, but a closing above 12,572 only will expose that 14,000, actually 14,329, which we are expecting as a 100%, or oh, sorry, 161.8% extension from the previous rise. So the support is at 12,066, the resistance is at 12,572 in this market. Talking about the Euro CHF, Euro CHF is uh, falling very briskly. Actually, uh, yesterday we were expecting that this spin bar here could push the prices back to 1.604, but it did not. And Euro had appreciated against the Swiss franc today also and is now trading uh, uh, below the crucial support of 1.0547. Now, a closing below 1.0547 will expose 1.0504 in this market and a closing below that will expose even further, which I have not even marked on my chart, but I, I am expecting 1.0504 to be respected in this market. So this is a good support. Let us see how the things unfold. Right now, the resistance is 1.0547 and the support is 1.0504 in this market. Talking about the GBP CHF. Uh, GPCHF has made an intraday low of 1.2309, is trading currently at 1.2333 and actually I was expecting this long line to hold because this is a monthly, monthly trend line my friends. This trend line is very important line and if it is broken today, if it is broken then 1.2279, 1.2194 and even 1. Point, all these okay. I will not talk about these two levels because this one level because there are multiple supports already i have actually marked this as a monthly support so let's not talk about that but yes these two supports are very important like 1.2279 and 1.2194 although a close below this uh, trend line will expose these levels but we may see a pullback to, uh, to 10 and 12, 20 periods moving average before it starts going down again so right now the resistance for the price is 1.2503 and the support is at 1.2279 in this market. Eurocad is trying very hard to go up but is facing resistance multiple times. Today it is giving us a bullish pin bar because of the depreciating uh, price of the Brent and crude oil. So this channel's range has also been extended. You have to join the lows. Okay. And the highs okay so this is the channel actually where the price is moving up but we still need a closing higher than this resistance level of 1.4441 before we see a higher price like 1.4605 in this market but if we see this resistance to hold and the price being pushed back again then 1.4295 will be exposed again in this market right now the price is moving in the channel let us see how the things unfold in the future but this is actually a rectangular pattern the price is making right now. Uh, we need a close either higher than this or a lower than this for the price to go in either of the direction. Otherwise, it is just a range bound market here. Stay away from such markets as per my opinion. Talking about Bitcoin, Bitcoin is bullish but is not able to go higher than 63602. So you can also say that there is some sort of consolidation happening here also. There is a channel forming already in this one. I want to make sure that you know that channel so see this was this was actually one low okay after that this was another low and this was the high that the price had made after making this low so this is what is happening in this market and if you want to cater for this low here and then you have to join this so this is the second type of channel that you that is forming right now the price seems to be slightly bearish here just after having a first look but if you make another channel, you will see that uh, on the 4 hour, there is another channel like this. Once this channel is broken to the higher side, you can be sure that the buyers are still aggressive. Otherwise, if the channel breaks to the downside, this, this first channel breaks to the downside, we can be sure that the price is headed back to 58,963. But if it breaks down, do not be aggressive to sell this market. And uh, rather than that, uh, maybe you can do something like this. Okay, wait for... Uh, the the price to react to this broken channel support line to act as a fresh resistance and if it does that can be seen as an area opportunity an area of opportunity to go short the small stop loss higher and targeting 58.963 in this market 
but since bitcoin is not good for scalping the, I, i'll request that stay away from this market to uh, if you are uh, looking for a selling opportunity just stay away and look for a buying opportunity when the price goes down at a favorable position like 52883 which is uh, still cheaper for to buy bitcoin but not right now stay away from this market i must say with this my friend i just hope that you have got some idea about the levels of support and resistance that are of uh, really good interest in the coming hours and days please keep in mind that market can go in either of the direction it cannot be it is not just not possible that you can be rich just by opening one position so make sure that you should never risk more than 1% of your capital on any single trade and you should look for a potential profit of more than 3 times the risk that you are going to take first thing that you should not take more than 1% of risk and the second thing is that you should be aiming for 3 times if it is not there if it there is no potential for any trade to give you 3 times the risk that you are going to take you should not enter that position and how you can adjust your position size that uh, if you lose or if your stop loss gets hit it should only lose you more uh, less than 1% so you can adjust your position size by using the ducascopy uh, position size calculator which is there in the ducascopy web website the link is there in the description you can check it out with this note i shall end this video please press the like button if you find this video useful for you consider subscribing if you think that you need to come again to this channel and you can turn on the notifications bell leave your suggestions in the comment section day before yesterday uh, i mean on first uh, second of november in my video i saw two dislikes two people disliked it but they did not give any feedback as to why they did not like the video please uh, let me know what did you find wrong in the video if there is anything and if you like the video please let me know and if you find nothing important or useful for you you can even then also you can write it in the comment section that my videos are not useful for you and how i can make it more useful for you if you want to because this is a free video so you don't have to hesitate just write it there's there's no cost in writing any comments or so so i i encourage you to write more and more and please consider subscribing to the channel for more such videos also you can join the Dukas copy forex community where there are so many things for the forex traders the links are there in the description i wish you and your family a very happy and profitable day thank you very much for for taking out your time to watch this video